Hey guys, be Mr. Casual, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how Christian Rodriguez thinks that Raul Rosas Jr. is one dimensional, right? So, but before we get into it, 95% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys could please subscribe to us with the channel, I would really, really appreciate it. All right, guys. All right, so let's let's get right into it, right? So we're gonna be reading an article on MMAnews.com. And so, all right, so so yeah, like it's kind of crazy that like um Christian Rodriguez the th thinks Raul Rosas Jr. is like one dimensional. Like I can like and he basically thinks he's just like pretty much like a hype train, you know? Like I can understand why he would think that because you know Raul is young, he has he has a shitload of because he, and him being the youngest UFC fighter um currently on the roster, I think, right? Yeah, and and the way he won in his last fight, like it, it gives him a shitload of hype, right? So people just assume that anybody, any UFC fighter would like that that has so much hype behind them, they automatically call them like a hype train or whatever. They automatically dub them the hype train. But in reality, it's like not every hype train is like not like, a lot of people think hype trains are about to get derailed and and then and then they're gonna be, they're gonna go down. Like like they, people think that every hype train is gonna be like a Darren Till or a Sage Northcut or something like that. But the thing is, that's not true. There are there are a lot of people that have a lot of hype. They're they're the real deal. And I feel like Raul Rosas Jr. is the real deal. Well, let's get let's read some of the article. I'll give you guys commentary, okay? Remember, MMAnews.com in the article, okay? Raul Rosas Jr. branded one dimensional by UFC 287 opponent. He only brings one skill to the table. It's kind of crazy that in the title it doesn't even say Christian Rodriguez, you know? So let's continue. Um, Rosas Jr. isn't particularly well rounded, um, according to his upcoming opponent. So tonight's the fight. It's the first fight in the main card. So we'll see very quick, you know, what, what's going to happen. I think Christian Rodriguez is very good, though. I think this is a very good test for Raul Rosas Jr. I think maybe, like, they maybe a little rushed it a little bit too quickly because, you know, he's good, bro. He's like, what, 8 and 1, Raul 7 and 0. Oh. I feel like they gave him a pretty good opponent really quickly, you know. So let's continue. Like if you watch his fights, like this guy is good. I saw, I saw like like f at least five of his fights, something like that. But he's good. Like this, this is not going to be like a steamroll, like 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 Raul's last fight against Jay Perrin, who ended up getting cut by the UFC. You know, like, I, don't, I don't think Raul is going to steamroll this guy. He's not, he's not going to steamroll Christian Rodriguez. because I just don't see it. You know, I think it's going to be a, a scrap. Let's, 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 let's continue. UFC bantamweight Christian Rodriguez is looking to put a firm halt to the hype behind Raul Rosas Jr.'s name, and he's confident of doing um just that by avoiding the 18-year-old's one strength. Um, Rosas Jr. will be making his second walk to the octagon um this weekend at, at um UFC 287. El Nino Problema um burst onto the scene last September when he secured a contract in Dana White's Contender Series at the age of seven of just 17. Yeah, shit was crazy. Um, and the records kept tumbling three months later. Um, at UFC 282, where Rosas Jr. submitted Jay Perrin inside one round to become the youngest winner in the promotion's history. And Jay Perrin was talking so much shit at the press conferences. He was like, oh, he's going to beat him. He's going to destroy him, blah, blah. And then, he, and then he ended up fucking getting destroyed in the first round. And then he got cut from the UFC, bro. This, I think he was, just, he was just promoting the fight or whatever. But at the same time, I think he was generally talking shit to um, Raul, um, Jay Perrin. Which, and Jay, Jay Perrin looked like a fucking clown talking shit, you know? But let's continue. The hype is real. Raul Ro Rosas Jr. gets it done in the, for in the first round. <laughs> so it's like, you guys ever saw the thing where it's like, oh, when keeping it real goes wrong. It, we'll go back to, and watch a press conference of Jay Perrin and then, and then look at this clip. That's it, Junior! How good is that? How good is that? He was mad, bro. At least they hugged at the end, you know. But Jay Perrin, Jay Perrin was talking a lot of shit at the press conference. Let's continue. Um, having made a splash on debut, Rosas Jr. will now look to begin a push-up the Bantamweight ladder and towards the um ambitious goal on MMA's biggest stage, which includes championship glory Um, by the age of 20. The thing is, right, I feel like Raul has a shitload of potential. He's so young. He has, you know, he, he's only going to get better and better. But the thing is, to be like... To, to say you're gonna be the champion by twenty is like, bro, you know, like, 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 like he's a, he's a bantamweight, bro. The bantamweight division has a shitload of like really good people, bro. You know, like Piotr Jan, you know, Henry Cejudo, you know, Sterling, Sean O'Malley, you know, on um, Marab, 
Like, I think he like I don't see like it's, it's gonna be really those are those all those guys are really good. And they're gonna be tough for this kid, bro. I you know, I respect like he has balls to say some shit like that, like yo, I'm gonna be champion by twenty, but those five guys I just named, it's gonna be tough, bro. You know, like imagine him versus Marab, imagine him versus Sterling, imagine him versus Sahuro. You know what I mean? Oh my god, imagine him versus Sean O'Malley, which I wanna see that one. I don't see him versus Sean O'Malley, but Sean O'Malley's like, him versus Piotr Jan. You know what I mean? Those guys are monsters. Like, 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 I don't know. It's going to be tough, bro. Let's continue. The man standing in his way for now is for now is Rodriguez, who's identified the area he can exploit this Saturday in Miami. Rodriguez limits Ro Rosa's Jr.'s threat in one area. During his appearance at UFC 287 Media Day on Wednesday, Rodriguez, a fighter seven years, um, Raul Rosa Jr.'s elder, assessed um his upcoming opponent's skill set thing is seven years the elder but raul 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 rosa jr is 18 you know rodriguez is like 25 25 you're like in your prime so you know what i mean that's not that big of a deal it's not like like you know like as if raul is 30 and, and freaking rodriguez is 37 or something like that. he's past his prime you know what i mean they're both young 25 and 28 they're both mad young you know what i mean let's continue a C Rod who knows a thing or two about quick submissions himself. I'm having the feeder Joshua Weems via Anaconda choke that October um to register his first UFC win acknowledge Rosa Jr.'s high level grappling. However, Rodriguez branded it on um, the only attribute that El Nino Problema has to offer. And with that, a 25 year old expects a clear advantage on the feet. So this is what this is what Christian Rodriguez said about Raul Rosa Jr., right? I see that he's very good. He's a very, very good grappler, Rodriguez said. But I feel like that's all he brings to the table. But I do respect his skill set. I do respect how good his grappling is. So it's not like I'm overlooking him or anything like that. Like, I feel his striking is good. But I'm, I feel I feel more of his game is striking to set up his grappling. So I do feel I'm more confident in my striking than his. So he's basically... I feel like I feel like I'll probably be an underdog in this in this fight. I do I do know he has a lot of hype, but I don't know I don't mind the hype. I think it benefits me once I stop it. Rodriguez says added. So I do agree. If Rodriguez ends up beating Raul Rosas Jr., he's gonna have all that hype that Raul has. It's gonna come to Christian Rodriguez for sure. That, that's how it works. The hype. Whoever has the hype, the person that beats him st basically steals the hype away from that person. I hundred percent agree with that. Okay, so. The thing is, um, the thing is, like, Christian Rodriguez is saying, oh, Raul just only, like, his striking is okay, but mainly his skill is grappling. But the thing is, I was doing some research, right? Ra Raul started off with a striker that became a grappler, though, right? Originally, Raul, Raul was a striker that developed his grappling, and his grappling became really good. So I don't know why Christian Rodriguez is saying, like, as if he's just mainly a grappler and his striking is okay, and he uses his striking to set up his grappling. That may be true. That about his, you know, he might, he might strike to set up a grappling, you know, but at the same time, I feel like Raul has good striking too. I feel like Raul can do striking and grappling, but if he prefers to grapple, he prefers to grapple sometimes, you know, some, some people start off as strikers and they, like, like Raul's only 18. You can't even like, just, just be like, oh, he's mainly a striker or he's mainly a grappler. He's developing, bro. He's still learning. He's super young. 18 is so young. He's still learning everything, you know? Like, we can't even say, like, you know, what if, like, five, six years, seven years from now when he's 25, he ends up switching back to wanting to strike, you know? He's still too young to, like, be like, oh, he only does this, he only does that. But I understand what Christian Rodriguez is saying, but you can't just say he's one-dimensional. I, I don't agree with that. I think that that's a, that's a big mistake on Christian Rodriguez's part to say that Raul is one-dimensional. But, I, but I, I, I can't agree with Christian Rodriguez when he says that Raul likes to set up his grappling with his striking. I feel like that's what most people do. They they strike and they set up their grappling. You know what I mean? Because if you just grapple, you can get hit. If you just go in for a takedown, you know, you're not disguising it with anything. But if you strike and then go for a takedown, you're disguising it with something. You know what I mean? Let's continue. Okay. Um Rodriguez will um look to prove his assessment and correct um and assessment correct come fight night inside Miami Dade Arena this weekend and and when and when he'll hope to steal the hype behind Raul Jr.'s name for himself. The youngest winner of the UFC history is back in action, you know. That's the whole article. So yeah, like, once again, um, I don't think, I just don't think Rodriguez, I think Rodriguez is good. I think it's going to be the biggest test of Raul's, um, Rosa Jr.'s, like, fight career, for sure. But at the same time, I feel like um, Christian Rodriguez should not just, like, think he's only going to, 
you know, he should only watch out for his grappling because, you know, because if he's only going to be looking out for his grappling, you know, Raul might end up knocking him out. You know what I mean? You can't just look at him like, oh, I don't got to worry about his striking because he's he's just going to grapple with me or whatever, you know? Because he that, that's how you end up getting knocked out. I think I think Christian Rodriguez needs to be careful. And I think Christian Rodriguez needs to take him seriously. I think Christian Rodriguez, even though he's good, he needs to be careful for sure. Bro, like, and they're both good. I'm telling you. This guy is good. Christian Rodriguez is good. I watch his fights very he's he's, he's well rounded. He's eight and one. Raul seven and oh. This is gonna be a really good fight. And I think even, even if let's say Raul some ends up winning, I think people will be surprised how good Christian is. You know what I mean? But we'll see what happens. You know, it's gonna be very interesting to see how, how this fight turns out, you know. But well, you know, we'll see what happens. I just think Christian Rodriguez should not underestimate um Raul. I th- I feel like because Raul is young. People, you know, people look at him like, oh, you're too young. You're not, you know, you're just a, y- a young kid that just, you know, wants to be champion by 20. You you know, Christian Rodriguez probably thinks like Raul is like a little bit delusional because he's too, he's too young. He hasn't really had that many fights in the UFC, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. You never know. If, Ra- if Raul is confident in himself, who are we to say like, yo, why are you so confident? You know, you, you, you know, you're, you're never going to become champion at 20 years old, you know? Who are we to say that? If someone wants to be confident in himself, let them be confident, you know? Because the more Raul fights, the more we get to see his skill set, you know? The more we get to see how good he is, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, we'll see what happens, you know? They're fighting tonight. You know, I just, I just thought I'd make the video because I, I saw the, I, I was like, saw the article. I'm like, wow, Christian Rodriguez really thinks Raul is one dimensional. I was like, you know, let me make a video about it, you know? But, anyways, guys, be Mr. Casual. Remember, 95% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys please subscribe to us with the channel, I'll really, really appreciate it. Be safe, everybody. All right, take care.